week again. I am back with my second YouTube video. I'm excited. It's my favorite um, natural hair products. As you can see, I am natural. Um, I've been natural for about four years. So I just want to talk about my favorite um, natural hair products, stuff that I use um, when I'm doing my routine, stuff that works for me. Everybody's hair is different. Um, and everybody finds products that work, work differently for them. But I want to talk about stuff that I really like that I think maybe some people can try. Um, that I feel like does a great job on my hair. So I guess I can start from like shampoo and all the way to like styling or whatever. So the first product um, I'll talk about is like a shampoo and conditioner. So, um, but still keep my hair protected. So I have Kenra. Um, shampoo and conditioner. I actually ordered these on Amazon. Um, this is a shampoo, this is a conditioner. I ordered these on Amazon, um, and that just helps really cleanse my hair. But they are the um, moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, so even though it has sulfate in it, it's still a little bit more moisturizing than most of the other products people use to um, shampoo. So it, um, even though it cleanses my hair really good. Um, I don't feel like my hair is completely like stripped and, and feel brittle afterwards like uh, a lot of shampoos with sulfate does. So I really like the Kenra. I recommend that for anybody who's natural who when you do need to actually use sulfate shampoos, this one's pretty gentle and it gets the job done. So Kenra. Um, another shampoo and conditioner combo that I use is, and this is getting low, the Shea Moistures. It's called the... Uh, Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourishing and Silicone Shampoo with Date Palm and Camilla Extract. It's for hydrating and softening dry, brittle hair. That's a mouthful. But these products I really do love. Um, these are ones that I would use probably like once a month. They do not have sulfate in them. But for the word nourishing or moisturizing and products that I buy for my hair and my body. So... Shea Moistures, I really like those. As far as like my weekly washes, cause I do try to wash my hair once a week and um, I usually do it on Sundays. I try to do it on Sundays. I use the As I Am really Coconut. It like, I don't really like the smell of coconut, but this one just has a really good smell. As you can see, it's kind of like a loosey, very moisturizing. I have tried tons of co-washes and none of them compares to the As I Am. Like, I love this co-wash. I recommend it to everybody. Like, if you need a good co-wash, try the As I Am. It's Garnier Fructis. It's for curls. It's the Triple Nourishing Curl Nourishing um, for dry and curly hair. It's if you need something to help put the moisture back in your hair after you washed it, I would recommend this particular one by Garnier Fruities. So, one of the things I think that help with detang making detangling an easier process is the Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In and Detangler. I love this stuff. Like, like this stuff is amazing. Like I would recommend this for anybody with any kind of hair texture. And most people, if you wash your hair, it has a little tangling to it, and anybody can. I think can use this and a little goes a long way with this stuff too. So I would definitely recommend the Kinky Curly um, Not Today. It's really good. So one of the deep conditioners I really like is the uh, Shea Moistures. And I got this on sale at Target. <laughs> but I bought it regular price before. But this is the Shea Moisture um, Superfruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System one by Shea Moisture. So that's a good one to try in a burgundy packaging if you need hair mask or deep conditioner and you don't know which one to go to um my fa I think my all-time favorite and I didn't realize it was my favorite until I started using other deep conditioners trying new brands and new lines out and I realized like my hair didn't feel as this hydrated as it does after I use this one which it's another Shea Moistures but it's the in the gold and brown packaging it's the Shea Moistures Manuka Honey and Mafara oil. One of the leave-ins that I really like, and I am almost out, um, is this Shea Moisture. Like, a lot of her lines, I don't know, man. Like, I want to try the lines, but for some reason, I always go back to Shea Moistures. 
um, the Jamaican black castor oil strengthening and growth leave-in conditioner with shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. But this stuff is really good. I would say like try this if you need to. Um, if you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner. Another leave-in that I really like, and I didn't think that it would work for my hair because of the name of it, but I think it has really good slip and it's really good. And I'm almost out of that too. It's the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. Who have curly and kinkier hair can also use this and, and pile it on and it just has really good slip. So kind of on the pricier side, this is probably one of my pricier of all the products. This one is... I want to say $19.99 so is about 20 bucks, which isn't bad. I'm, I'm a firm believer in you pay for what you get. So I would definitely recommend this as a, a, a good leave-in um, to try. Um, and one of the ones that I really like is this Carol Daughters Refreshing Spray. It's the Hair Milk Nourishing and Conditioning, my favorite words, a refreshing spray for curly curls, coils, kinks, and wave. It's a deep moisturizing, improves softness, prevents frizz. Um, it has agave, sweet almond, and wheat protein in it. So this is by Carol's Daughters. Um, definitely recommend this uh, nourishing, refreshing spray by Carol's Daughters. So. And it smells really good. I mean, all their products. I mean, if it smells good, that's like another reason to buy it. Um, and then as far as stylers, like um, I do do twist out and braid outs with my hair just to try to stretch it more because my hair is at the point where it's longer than what it looks. So um, I try to stretch it as much as I can without like using heat or anything. So one of the things I really like is the um, Garnier Fruities, which is the same as that conditioner. It's the Garnier Fruities Triple Nourishing Curl Nourishing Butter Cream. I would definitely recommend this curling cream and a conditioner by Garnier Fruities. So excuse my nails. I will be getting a fill in soon. <laughs> Um, and then my other favorite, like favorite, um, curling cream, and I try a lot, like stylers. I don't like gel stylers because they leave my hair crunchy. Um, and I don't want to have to deal with after you have a crunchy hair, putting something in your hair, like an oil or a spray or something to make the crunch go away. Like I want to be able to twist my hair, like untwist it or unbraid it and then go. So I don't like, um, gel uh, excuse me, gel stylers, but I do love the cream ones. And the Garnier is a cream one, and then the Shea Moistures um, is a cream one. As you can see, Shea's Moistures, it's my girl. Um, the Shea Moistures Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and, and Style Milk with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. It's for thick curly hair, anti-frizz, moisturizing shines, anti, uh, doesn't have sulfate in it, and it's color safe. So, and this is... This stuff lasts for a really long time, too. It's the same thing. A little goes a long, a long way too much if a lot of these products will leave a residue. So, you don't have to, like, drench your hair in it. And it does to do. And this is a really, really good style. And it really helps my hair have more of a defined curl with this and the leave-ins together. So. Definitely recommend this by Shea Moistures. Really good cream. So, my last product... Uh, not necessarily a product, it's a tool, like I say, a hair tool, um, is my Vita Goods um, hairbrush. It's a vibrating hairbrush for your hair um, when you're washing it. Um, a lot of, um, you can use it in the shower, you can use it if you wash your hair in the sink, whatever the case, but this really helps stimulate the scalp and get a lot of the build up off your scalp and honestly it just feels amazing so i would definitely recommend this i think on their website um you can get i think it's originally 40 bucks but you get half off so you pay like 24 i've had it over a year haven't had any problems with it um, yet i want to thank everybody for watching my video like subscribe comment leave me a message i'll put all my social media below so you can follow me if you want to know um, when I'm going to be uploading again if you don't have it um, on YouTube yet. Um, and thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.